Okay. Hello. <laughs> Tomorrow I'll be uploading the first episode of a series that I've been hyping up for a while now. The history of life on Earth. That we know of. A long form version of the TikTok series that I made about a year ago that covers how life evolved over like half a billion years. It will cover 12 geologic time periods, introducing you to extinct species from the Cambrian all the way to modern day. It will most likely take about a year to complete. So I decided I would make this little introduction video to give you a couple disclaimers. Number one, if you're familiar with geologic history, you know the Cambrian is definitely not the beginning of everything. The earth is estimated to be about four and a half billion, with a B, billion years old. And life has existed on this planet for the majority of that time. So starting from just half a billion years ago might seem like a jump to say the least. But the beginning of the Cambrian marks a really significant moment in the evolution of animals called the Cambrian explosion. Most of the major groups of animals appeared for the very first time, at least in the fossil record. And for a while in the scientific community, fossils from before the Cambrian explosion had never been found. Charles Darwin even talked about it and said that the missing pre-Cambrian history of animal life was one of the greatest unsolved mysteries in natural science. We had an abundance of records of animals from everything after the explosion, but nothing from before. Of course, now we know that was not the case. Our understanding now is that life has been evolving for billions of years, but I kind of want to follow that timeline of discovery, starting with this explosion that for a while was the beginning of animal life, and then highlight each of the periods that followed. And then once the series is done, go back to the Precambrian and cover the more cryptic evolution of life. Also between you and me, most of the Precambrian evolution of life is like cell stuff, cells evolving in complexity, which we all know I don't fuck with cell biology. So it's not something I feel comfortable covering now anyway, especially to start the series off, but we will get there nonetheless. The series is pretty important to me because it kind of sums up the reasons why I got so into evolution and paleontology in college. I used to have pretty bad existential anxiety when I was like 19 and 20. My place in like time scared the shit out of me. So once I started learning about evolution in college, which I never really paid attention to before, I was like, oh, okay. This is how the world works on a really large scale, you know? And then I wanted to know what came before us and then before that and so on. And I got really excited about it. And I guess I kind of channeled that anxiety I had into learning about the deep past. It really helped for some reason. So while I think learning about and talking about extinct species and weird species is fun, I get excited about them because they're just really tiny fragments of this massive, incomprehensible mechanism that is so much bigger than all of us, but also connects all of us to everything that is currently living and everything that has ever existed and that is just so fucking insane. So in this series, I'm gonna introduce you to how nature unfolded over millions and millions of years, or at least the parts we know. Because this is a zoology channel, it's gonna be extremely biased towards mammals, but I'm gonna throw in a little bit about plants and fungus from time to time. And of course, as always, new shit is being discovered constantly, tweaking our understanding of the deep past. So I'll do my best to stay as up to date as possible. So. I hope you're as excited as I am to see this series unfold. Thank you for taking the time to reach the end of this video, and I'll see you tomorrow.